Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So it seems as though the altcoin market is now erupting with Bitcoin dominance topping a little bit and having a nice retest of the lows. We actually see XRP up almost 7% on the 24 hour span, sitting at about roughly almost 60 some cents. It did have a nice run up to above 61 cents. Ultimately speaking, what we want to actually see is XRP regain the overall trend up there at around roughly almost 62 to 64 cents, and then ultimately break out of major resistance above 70 plus cents. It's gonna take some time, but we are starting to see a lot of big shifts happening around crypto. We are witnessing a major change happening within the market. And what is that? Well, it's the institutional side and the traditional side of finance really warming up to crypto. Now, I personally believe that XRP has an incredible opportunity here. And for everyone that has been making fun of XRP and XRP holders for years and years and years, right? Don't realize that, yeah, XRP was the banker's coin, right? But now we are seeing Bitcoin maxis and major crypto maxis that were long term on the original goal of crypto, which was to replace the traditional financial space. And it's going to do this. It's gonna... Now they're all saying, all right, let's welcome BlackRock into the space and Fidelity and you know, all these big players with open arms. What they don't realize is the player that has been at the forefront of that, that has been helping banks and traditional financial giants usher into the digital age. Yeah, that was XRP. That was Ripple, right? So XRP has an incredible opportunity. Not even just talking about the, the factors behind XRP. But we're going to talk about some other things as well. But let's go over to Fiat Le uh, Leak. Sorry. Tons and tons of trading volume. Guys, we're seeing over 2 plus million XRP traded in the past minute. This just shows you how crazy this market is right now. There's a ton of volume out there. Now, also at the same exact time, why are we seeing so much buying volume right now within the space? Why is XRP's 24-hour trading volume up almost 26%. Well, it's because we got the confirmation about the Bitcoin ETF. Bitcoin dominance is dropping. All coins are waking up in a big way. Now, I did say that the link was unavailable because it was. The manipulation is now red hot. I'm waiting for an official announcement. We got it, right? Um, all spot Bitcoin ETFs are now officially confirmed. This is a huge day for crypto. I talked about it. I already addressed it in a, pre a previous video. The main thing that I was talking about actually was Wall Street warming up to crypto. And I made a video uh, regarding this. I said at the end of the day, the ETFs are the beginning of what's to come for crypto. Institutions are embracing this market for what it really will become, a breeding ground of incredible innovation and wealth creation. The key for the retail sector was to be positioned and be positioned before it really is too late to be early. I'm not focused on prices at this point, and I surely don't care what happens next week or even next month. I'm looking much further ahead. This is the biggest opportunity we will ever have for the next probably 10, 20, hell, who knows how many years. Don't waste it. And again, as we look at what's going on right now, I feel as though everyone needs to be aware of the significant change happening. Now, for all those wondering out there, can we trust this? Yeah, we 100% can trust this. This is actually from the official SEC website. And of course, Gary Gensler making sure that he steals the show. This is a quote from him. While we approve the listing and trading of certain spot Bitcoin ETP shares today, 
we did not approve or endorse Bitcoin. Well, I'm sure that, you know, Bitcoin cares. I'm sure that the, the company behind Bitcoin cares too. This is ridiculous and it's comical. Listen, nobody cares, Gary. Listen, you lost. It's as simple as that. You have been losing time and time again. And plus, we already know, just like the first comma here, we know Wall Street owns Gary. They have been whipping him into place for a very long time, making sure that he is working within their means. He is just a paid for and bought for regulator. That's it. Now, beyond this, we also got a statement from Brad Garthinghouse. The significance of this moment cannot be overstated. Congrats to all who have worked to get Bitcoin spot ETFs approved. Today's news is further for uh, further legitimization of crypto as an asset class. I expect this will be yet another catalyst for institutional investment adoption, ideally leading the industry to focus outside primarily speculative to broader real world use cases underpinning that legitimization. And again, this is exactly what I said the other day. I said, I strongly believe that we are starting to move away from the speculative market and into a much more mature one. Let's talk about it real quick. And again, I addressed it, right? Institutions are here. They're lining up. They're getting ready. And it's all starting. Remember what we said back in 2023, right? 2023 was the year for building. 2024 is the year that they really start to scale. I personally believe that the institutions have already been focused. They've been preparing and they already laid the foundation. They're ready now. But also, big shout to uh, Paul Barron Network. We actually had a little bit of an in-depth view on what he believes is happening around this new era in finance with these Bitcoin ETFs. Check it out. Step in the right direction. This is going to force the hand of every major market maker. It's going to force the hand of every bank regulator. It's going to force the hand of every financial regulator, as well as our own lawmakers, that starts to move into a new era in finance. And that will be tokenized securities and, of course, all of the potential assets that underlie within that. That means the rest of the crypto market. Bitcoin's going to lead the way because, let's be honest, this is the alpha dog in the race. The opportunity here for all of these risk assets are going to be the natural evolution of every investor out there, much like what you do in stocks today or possibly in small caps, all those kind of things. Strategy is going to start to play into it. I think crypto starts looking like, almost like real estate plays, of being able to look at this in long-term finance, being able to look at new acquisitions, new market penetrations, all these potential opportunities that really the difference is, that I think makes the probably the biggest difference, is that this is available for the average Joe. That's the real difference in crypto. And, you know, I completely agree. And I even mentioned this around these ETFs. The big thing about these ETFs was never the price driver, in my opinion. Like, although, yes, we will see price driven by these ETFs, um, you know, your, your grandmother can tap in to these Bitcoin ETFs through her Fidelity account, through her BlackRock uh, account, things like that, right? Like, that's what is the major change here. Like, these are legitimate, big, traditional financial giants that the typical individual right can trust oh it's blackrock we know blackrock i mean for most of us we know who blackrock really is and larry fink but for the traditional you know herd mentality um and the traditional in in investor that's following the herd they look at it as yeah i could trust them they don't want to load up a coinbase account they don't want to tap into a binance account they want to just easily get in through these ETFs. And that's what this is. It's a welcome mat for the traditional players. But also outside of this, right? Now we are seeing speculation. Next up, an Ethereum ETF approval could come as soon as May. And uh, here are all of the Ethereum ETFs uh, that are in progress. And uh, this is definitely interesting, right? But what is everyone forgetting? Hello, knock, knock, who's there? It's XRP. Listen, I'm, I'm not an XRP maxi, but let's be real here. XRP has clarity. It's had clarity since the summer. So when we really look at XRP, what is stopping 
an XRP ETF from being a reality. Nothing. Nothing is stopping it except for, of course, the SEC. So when we look at that, right, like, where are we headed? And by the way, for those out there wondering, what about an XRP ETF? We, we just recently witnessed Bloomberg talking about Ripple ETFs. Check this out. Big shout out to buy the crypto dip player that is going to be competing against some of the ones that just do everything well one question i have too i think a lot of people have it if you get past today the sec tomorrow says okay you're all clear you can start trading on thursday how soon before you turn around and try to make other spot products for different crypto assets you know i think we're going to see a lot of filings come out for uh, ethereum i even think we might see something for ripple given uh the recent progress uh you notice that grayscale just added ripple to one of their trusts that's publicly traded so it wouldn't surprise me if we saw Ripple or Ethereum spot ETFs out there. Player. And then also followed up by today, another mention of Ripple ETFs on Bloomberg just now when Moon. Also remember something to watch tomorrow. Uh, these questions will start pouring in. First, is Grayscale and the other crypto focus issuers going to start looking at other crypto assets? Ethereum, Valkyrie, it's a, people are looking at Ripple ETFs already, for example. Also so there you guys have it. And again, they are calling it Ripple, but it's XRP. We know it. Um, uh, again, and we know this because of what the other individual was saying. He was talking about it. Um, but at the end of the day, we also got Valkyrie Chief Investment Officer saying Ripple XRP and Ethereum spot ETFs could come to market now that the SEC is about to approve one for Bitcoin. And they approved every single one. So the fuel is there. The fire just needs to be lit. I personally believe that we are getting very, very close. And big shout to Bobby A, because I have the same exact thought process on this. My targets of eight to thirteen dollars will prove to be conservative. And again, yes, I am still stuck on the idea of the seven to ten dollar range. Um, it could go as high as fifteen. I've talked about it, right? But I feel as though we are going to see if we get a possible XRP ETF or you know, maybe we have a filing for a spot XRP ETF. We are going to see a lot of price predictions, 20 to $30. We've seen them back in 2020 into 2021. Guys, they never morphed into reality. 7 to 10 is my focus. High end, 15, right? But this could make XRP extremely valuable. And the reason why is because it will be extremely sought after. We have been addressing and talking about how XRP is technically cheap. A lot of people will look at XRP and say, oh, it's at 60 cents. The market cap this, the market cap that. Oh, XRP hasn't moved in this long. Guys, I don't care. If I'm being honest with you, I don't care how long it has been since XRP hit a new all-time high. The reason why is because XRP is not my only holding, and I've said this a hundred times already on the channel, but beyond that, like I said in the beginning, XRP is perfectly positioned. XRP has already been knocking at the door for a very long time. Ripple as a company went to war with the SEC with $200 million plus, and won. That is something very significant. When we are looking at Bitcoin right now, when we're looking at Ethereum right now, look at the 24-hour trading volume, guys. First off, the trading volume of Bitcoin in the 24-hour span is more than the market cap of XRP. The trading volume of Ethereum in the last 24 hours is practically almost the same exact as the market cap of XRP. So when we're talking about XRP right now, and we're talking about Ethereum, and we're talking about Bitcoin, and we're talking about a possible XRP ETF, yeah, I do think that things can get very interesting very fast. And remember, right, that XRP moves extremely fast when it wakes up, and it is unstoppable for that time period. I say this now. Because I feel as though a lot of people forget how dominant XRP actually is when it wakes up. Have your own thought process on this. Have your own mindset on this. I don't care, right? Like when we really look at this space, I've already given you guys my opinion on XRP. 
I've already talked about XRP. I've already addressed the overall market for XRP. As we start to see crypto be more legitimized and we start to see speculation and hype die out and utility be really focused on, well, guess what? That's when all the haters, all the people that are sitting on the sidelines saying, oh, XRP hasn't had an all-time high in this long. XRP hasn't done this in this long. Ripple's dumping XRP. XRP's this. XRP. They will all be saying, wow, you guys were right. I should have been accumulating. Instead, I was fudding my bags. I was fudding XRP. And it's because everyone is always right until they're wrong. That's the thing, right? And again, I see all the noise. I see all the negativity. I see a lot of people saying XRP is never going to make a new all-time high. XRP is never going to do this. XRP is never going to do that. And that's exactly why XRP will do that because it's just like anything else around the space. But also remember, XRP is incredibly positioned at the forefront of the institutional takeover of crypto. And I'm not saying that that's a good thing in terms of institutions taking over crypto, but guess what? Everyone could not stop them. They already had the key to the door. It was only a matter of time. And now that they're here, you really want to start paying attention to the players in the space that are legitimate players that have incredible utility and are fully focused. XRP is one of those giants. I feel as though everyone should be paying attention to XRP at this current moment in time. And with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on because of more free content. To get some more than welcome, follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Peace out.